Hi there, this is Kush Sharma. I hope that you were able to download the zip file. And once you extract that file, you will find two things inside it. One will be the action, which is frequency separation by Kush. And you're gonna also find the portrait image, which I'll just show for a demo purpose. So that we'll see how to use this action. So you're gonna open up Photoshop once you have unzipped that file. And first of all, you know, after you've opened up the image in Photoshop, let's see how to load the action. So you can go to Windows here and this menu and you can select actions and this action window will open up. Just click these three lines here and then select load actions. Open up the same folder which you extracted and then just open up the action and it's gonna come inside this folder which says Photoshop actions by Kush frequency separation. You can close this folder, open it up and inside that we have our action. With So we have our image already open, we're just going to highlight this or select this action and just play this. And what you'll find is it'll automatically load all the layers related to the frequency separation. So these are the two layers. One will be color and tones, which of course will be the most important one because that's how we will be, you know, evening out these skin tones from so we'll be using this one but since we don't want to just totally blur out the skin and lose the texture we already have the texture preserved so these two frequencies have been separated and they are nicely put inside a folder so later on in case we feel we have done too much we can always control the opacity of this particular layer so let's quickly see how to use this so you're going to go on to the color and tones layer let's just zoom in a bit so I'm just going to use my zoom tool here and as you can see right in this portrait we've got some inconsistencies in the tones and the colors and all these things so what we can do now is with this selected make sure you just select the lasso tool so we'll just have to make a selection and blur and the texture won't be harmed in any way since that's on a separate layer now one important point before i start drawing the selection here make sure this feather for the lasso tool which controls how soft or hard the edges is set to between 5 to 10 pixels otherwise after you make the selection the edges can be seen very prominently so we just want to blur out the edges so 5 to 10 to 15 pixels of softening is fine so let's say let's concentrate on the nose first let's say this whole kind of a specular highlight that we are seeing here I just want to smoothen this out so I can select this whole part here like this Make sure that you are on the color and tones layer. Then we can just apply a Gaussian blur. So if we go to filter, we go to blur, we can hit Gaussian blur. And then you can see that just the default value was 37.4. This is gonna vary from portrait to portrait. So you can just play around. Start from a lesser value. Maybe you can start from zero and then just keep increasing it. Keep your eye here till the time you notice that it just starts to become smooth. You can see at this point it starts to do that, but we're not losing the texture, so that's good. Also, don't go too much, too high, because then it's just going to change the color itself. So I feel somewhere like this is fine. Okay, this much. And later on, we can even change that through the main folder. So we're going to hit OK. And then I can hit Ctrl or Command D to deselect this. So you can see if I just show you the before and after. I just smoothen this out in a very natural way. So wherever you notice, this inconsistency you can do it like for example here also very strong highlight here and this time you don't always have to open up the Gaussian blur tool if you just go to filter if you just hit this this is going to use the last value that you used with Gaussian blur so the shortcut is alt option control command plus F so let's just hit that and you can see that's pretty easy so this is much faster okay. before after just evening out things let's just do this once more I can just close this and maybe just do it a bit on this part here. Control Command, Alt Option F, and that just smoothens things out. And maybe for the last time, just smoothen this out. So wherever you notice this bad, uneven transition, that's where you're supposed to apply this. Okay, now I'm gonna use the shortcut and go. So like, just zoom out a bit now can see that's going to make a lot of difference but our texture is preserved so it looks good and if you feel for example let's say this looks maybe too fake or too smooth then you always can decrease the opacity of this group layer so we can always turn this down 
maybe let's say I just wanted half the effect just to keep things very natural. So now it's around 48%. It's a very subtle change here. So maybe something like 75. And that looks good. All right, so this is how you use this action. And of course, this was a quick demo, but if you really want to learn the art of retouching, you first of all want to understand what the concept of frequency separation also is. And you just want to learn all the different techniques like frequency separation, dodge and burn, how to retouch the hair, the eyes, the clothes, everything. Then do check out my course called Portrait Editing Masterclass, which is available via udemy.com. It is a very long course. It's a very comprehensive course, which teaches you the entire art of portrait retouching. So, so I will leave a link to that in the description of this video or if you accessed this video through my website then also you'll find it somewhere below the video but you will be able to find that link and hopefully I will see you inside that course if you decide to enroll but for right now enjoy your free action and I hope that it really helps you out.